Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video will demonstrate how to record a cash sale in sales order and accounts receivable. Using the cash sale feature is handy when you have a counter sale and the customer pays with currency. This can apply to existing customers as well as a one-time customer. If you're selling from your inventory, you're going to have to use sales order invoice data entry. You don't need to do a sales order. We're just going to go directly to the invoicing. After I select my invoice number and date, I need to change the type to cash sale invoice. Coming over to accounts receivable, I can enter in an existing customer or I can use the reserved customer number cash and then I would have to fill in the sales tax schedule or, and the salesperson. But if I'm working with that one, one time customer, I prefer to work with a customer number that has already been set up so that I can have some defaults. On the address tab, I could choose to add the customer's name or not, just leave it at counter sales, and then come to lines and select, as I normally would, an item to be sold. We'll come to the totals tab, and you'll notice that the deposit fields are not available. The assumption is that this has already been paid, and it's being paid in cash, so I can't enter a credit card number, nor can I enter a check number. To provide a receipt, I'm going to click on Quick Print, and we would print this out to hand to the customer. And you'll notice that at the top of the invoice, it says cash sale. The rest of the invoice is the same uh, form that you use for any other invoice. Now, something else that's a little interesting about uh, using the um, cash sale feature, I'm going to come over to my customer, my counter sales, and I'm just going to make a point over here. I have only done counter sales where I've used the cash, and you'll notice that none of the invoices appear here from the open invoice file. However, if I come up to the More button and I go to Invoice Inquiry, you'll see that all of my invoices from my cash sales are recorded in history. So while it's not on the open invoice file, you will find the invoice will be included in all of the uh, sales reports, standard sales reports. Okay, we're done with our invoice. And before I post that, I want to take a little visit over to AR Division Maintenance. I have something called Cash Sale where I gave it the other receivables account number. In my case, that's account number 111. And the difference in the posting is going to be that instead of debiting accounts receivable, because remember, it's not going to show up on the customer's account on that open invoice file, but rather it's going to go to this asset account called cash sales. When I actually deposit the cash into the bank, I'm going to record the, the, the deposit by using a miscellaneous cash receipt. By the way, we do have another video on uh, miscellaneous cash receipts if you need a little bit of help with that. Okay, let's go ahead and update our, our journals, our registers in our journals. I'm just going to do this through Paperless Office. We'll be able to see this pop up. I'm not going to print any of my um, recap reports, but you could see here that I have uh, my normal uh, register. Let's come out of this and update this, and let's take a quick little peek at the transaction register, the daily transaction register. I'll go ahead and update that and get that out of the way. And then let's just uh, expand this a little bit so that you could see it a little easier. And you could see that my debit here is to other receivables rather than accounts receivable. And you'll recall then to clear out this uh, account when I do that miscellaneous cash receipt that will zero out the other receivable account. Okay, let's go over to accounts receivable. We do have a little twist here. 
everything is the same, except that before I enter my uh, next cust my next invoice number, I need to type in CA, representing cash receipt. It then assigns the number, and then I would choose my customer number, either an existing one or like my example of how I've been using counter, or you can use cash, and then you would proceed normally. At SWK, we are committed with helping our customers getting the most out of their software investment. Please contact us at info at swktech.com to start a conversation about your solution. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.